unit is about peleral vectors and unit vector and as we learned just now um, peleral vectors could be of different length as long as they are heading the same direction or they could be heading the opposite direction that could be counted as um, peleral as well so let me give you like three examples so let's say um, this is a vector a and the second vector is sort of like um, two times the length of a so this would be 2a and um, the other the third vector is actually in opposite direction so this is like uh, negative 2a because it's of the same length so these are all considered as peleral vectors and you can see that although um, the numbers are different like this is just a and that's 2a and that's negative 2a they are all heading the same direction or in exactly the opposite that's called peleral so the idea of peleral is um, it's related to this equation a equals to kb where k is the constant so it means that if two of the vectors are peleral they are sort of related to each other it's just that maybe the number in front is um is is different so it could be a number it could be negative it could be a fraction so that's okay so um for example if we have a question like um if vector a is um, 2 negative 1 and it vector a is peleral 2 vector b which is s and 2 um, the question asks find the value of s so we are trying to get what is s we know that if uh, two vectors are peleral they have an equation in a form of a equals to kb so in this situation my a is 2 and negative 1 and my b is um, s2 my k is a constant number but at this moment i do not know what the number is in order to find um, the value of s we could um, start by looking at the bottom number first so um, in this equation it means that negative 1 equals to k times 2 k times 2 and I know that in order to get my value k I have to shift my 2 down so my k is actually a negative half so once I get the value of my k I know that I can focus on the top number right now which is 2 equals to ks and now I know that my k is negative half times s in order to find the value of s I sort of need to shift um, my numbers around so uh, just doing normal um, algebraic uh, solving I can um, find that the answer is negative 4 equals to s so i have found the value of s another thing that i want to discuss um, in this unit is unit vectors so um what is the meaning of unit vector unit vectors are vectors that only has um, a length of one unit so the length of the vector is one one unit okay so um, what does it mean so maybe given that I have a vector of so this is a different so in the next part we are focusing on unit vector and uh, unit vector means that it is the it is still a vector but in um, but the length needs to be one unit so for example if I have a question like um, find the unit vector in the direction of a and a has a vector like this so um, the first step that we need to know is what is the actual length of the vector so um, the actual length of the vector can be found by um, finding the magnitude which we have learned earlier which is um, we have to 3 square take a plus negative 1 square and square root so this will give us a square root 10 so this is the length of the vector but however because we just want um, this vector will have this length but however because we just want it 
uh, we want the length to be one unit, we have to divide this vector by square root 10. So the unit vector of A, the unit vector of A will be um, 1 over square root 10 times 3 negative 1. I can put it this way because this means that this vector will divide by square root 10. So if this is one unit, how do I find a vector um, of length 4 units? So that's another question. A vector of length 4 units in the direction of A. So I need to find a vector in the direction of A, but it is in 4 units. It's really easy because we already have the unit vector, which is of length 1. In order to get it in 4 units, we just have to take the unit vector times by 4. So we will get this as the answer. Does that make sense? So um, if we want to find vectors of length 4 units which are parallel to um, A, it means that if I need to find vectors of length 4 um, units parallel to A, you can see that these two questions are different because this is in the same direction of A. Parallel could mean it's in the same direction or it's opposite in direction. So in order to solve a question like that, all we have to do is add the positive and negative in front of um, the answer that we found previously because the answer we found previously is already four units in length. So that would be the answer.